hello everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for being here i hope you guys are doing well the lighting is not the best guys because i'm filming very early in the morning and if you see me sipping my cup of coffee it really is early but i'm here filming okay so i'd like to talk about this viral topic online and it's all over the internet but i thought i'd like to go ahead and give my thoughts on it so this kicker from the kansas city chiefs his name is harrison butker he made headlines for his commencement speech at the Benedictine College. During that speech, the audience applauded him twice, and at the end of his speech, they even gave him a standing ovation. So you can clearly see that the audience, you know, love what he was saying. I saw the speech online, and I thought it was, it's probably one of the best commencement speeches I've seen in a while. And you can clearly see that he firmly believes on this message that he was trying to convey. Now, this same speech, of course, got into the internet and it sparked an outrage. The reaction is quite the opposite. You know, a lot of feminists are mad about the things that he said in that speech, specifically one specific <laughs> sentence that he said about women. And a lot of them are making all these videos bashing him. So you would be wondering, what did he say that's making these women mad? So on one part of his speech, he started with congratulating the graduating ladies in the audience. And he said, I have some notes here, so I don't misquote him. He said, you know, he congratulated them and he said, I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. And I thought that was a really good introduction to the message he was trying to convey. So he went on to say, some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, so he went on to talk about his wife, how much he loves his wife and how much he appreciates that um, she has embraced her vocation as a wife and a mother. And he continued to say, I'm on the stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me. But it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all. And I think this is that comment he made um, that really that caught the heaviest attention when he said that for women the most important titles of all because again he's talking about his wife he said that important the most important title is for a woman to be a homemaker <laughs> everybody was mad with this they went berserk and a lot of women are making videos bashing him calling him sexist calling him misogynist calling him a monster and one woman went above and beyond because she was really really outraged and she said um, I feel so bad for his wife because she has to sleep with him. <laughs> what a statement. Okay, I am back. I apologize. All right, I have to have my coffee. Okay, so this is my opinion on this topic. I don't understand the backlash. I mean, you can clearly see that this man is religious. And he delivered this speech, this commencement speech, in a Catholic school. All right, so I am not surprised that he was comfortable sharing his Catholic conservative views. After all, he probably thought he is in a safe space and you can clearly see that the audience also enjoyed the things that he said on that speech. Now, of course, this speech got into the internet and it got mixed reactions and a lot of negative reactions. Obviously, a lot of people did not agree with the things that he said. And you know what? That's completely fine. You know, we don't have to agree with everything. We can have different opinions. And obviously, this man has a different opinion than maybe the majority of people that saw it on the internet. Now, he is entitled to that opinion. You don't have to agree with him. Now, for those who started calling him names, calling him a misogynist, sexist, a monster, <laughs> some woman even went above and beyond, even now, saying things like, you know, I feel bad for his wife because she has to sleep with him. All oh, this craziness. I mean, the outrage is a little bit overboard, I think. Um, I don't see all of that name calling. I don't see anything that tells me this guy is that kind of guy. You can clearly see that his religious he loves his wife he loves his kids he loves his family he works hard to support that family all of that describes is a description of a good man 
And the same women who's very outraged with this kind of men are the same women complaining about, oh, men are so irresponsible. Men are not men enough, good enough. They're not masculine enough. Hey, you have this man here in front of you trying to encourage other men and other wi and women to be responsible, to love their family, to love the children, to do whatever it takes to, you know, keep the family. Now you have this kind of man and now you're demonizing him. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> you can't make everybody happy. You're complaining about a man who's not man enough because they're irresponsible. And then you have this man who's very responsible and he's sharing that message to others and now he's getting attacked. I mean, again, you can't make everybody happy. And you know what? People are so laser focused on that statement. He said that the most important titles of all for a woman is being is to be a homemaker. Now, you don't have to agree with that, obviously. And people, again, are so laser focused on that. They forgot everything else that he said on that speech. He clearly said that some of you will go on or may go on to um, lead successful careers. I'm going to go get the notes so I don't misquote him. He said, some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world. But of course, this man is a religious man. He has conservative values and views, he said. But I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring to this world. And then he went on to talk about his wife. And then at the end of that statement, he said, the most important title of all is to be a homemaker. Now, again, you don't have to agree with him. That's fine. But, you know, I don't understand why he has to be demonized for that kind of, you know, for believing that, that a woman should embrace her traditional role as a homemaker. But we have a culture that demonizes women who embrace their traditional role as a homemaker. Um, I actually remember this um, while I was still working. One girl decided to um, resign after having a baby. You know, she decided she's going to become a stay-at-home mom. Now, a couple of girls in at work um, was talking about this, and one couple of them were saying, "Oh, I, I can't, I can't imagine being at home with an infant all day. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's going to drive me nuts." Another person said, "Well, I just feel like I have to have." like a contribution to my child's future so staying at home is not an option and i was somewhat bewildered by this statement because i was like wow like you don't know what a mother does even you don't have to be to become a mother to know this like you don't know what a mother does when an, with an infant at home but obviously she has to take care of the infant what else do you do <laughs> and then the other person's statement was like I have to have a contribution in my life my in my child's life so i have to be at work so i could contribute raising your child yourself is not a contribution <laughs> that's probably the biggest contribution a woman would have to her child's future i mean again it's a different idea because obviously like what he mentioned in his speech and i agree with this obviously you don't have to agree with this he said he wanted to speak directly to the women because he thinks that it is the women who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. So yes, you have a culture that demonizes and that looks down upon those women who embrace their role, their traditional role as a wife and mother. When someone hears of a woman saying, oh, I'm a stay-at-home mom, the immediate reaction was like, some people, it's smart enough to not say anything, but some would actually speak up about it and saying, wow, it must be nice to be at home doing nothing, like, you know, sitting on the couch all day. If that is your idea of a stay-at-home mom, then maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe you shouldn't do it because that's not what a stay-at-home mom does. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we, we have that kind of culture, you know. And the other thing is like, again, you don't have to agree with this opinion. We can have different opinions. But how nice it would be for children to grow up in a home where you have a father who's responsible. A man like this, a man like him who talks about loving his wife, appreciating her, and her contribution, you know, loving the kids and being responsible for the family by providing for the family. How nice it would be for the kids to grow up in an environment like that, where you have a father like that and also a mother who's able to focus on her role as a homemaker. You know, children would grow up well and better if, if children are in that kind of environment. Now, again, you don't have to agree with that, but obviously this is evidence-based. You can only imagine what kind of children we will be bringing up into this world if we go back to that way where the traditional way of life where children are growing growing up in a household where you have a father who's responsible and mother who's able to focus on that 
on her role as a homemaker. The world would be a better place, trust me. All right, so again, we don't have to agree with every single opinion. And if for those women who choose to focus on their careers, to not get married, to not have children, I mean, that is another path. And he recognized it. He recognized that on his speech when he said that some of you will may go on to have, you know, successful careers in the world. Obviously, some women, you know, are better off, probably better off, you know, not married, single and childless. Not everybody's made to to be married and um, to be a parent. Actually, that's the reality. Not everybody will do well in that role. So I think the best thing to do is to respect each other's opinion. We can have different opinions and we should allow this guy to have his opinions, you know, let him have his opinion. You may disagree with his opinion, but at the end of the day, we should just respect each other's opinion. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.